Morning campers. Uh, started day three. Just got my breakfast on there. And uh, get the tent doing and off we'll, off we'll go for the day. We're about 22 mile to do today. If we want to catch up back to our mileage, which I think we should do today because it's a, it's a lot gentler. And Steve says that this is not the end of Loch Lomond. It's um, not quite, but <laughs> it's nigh enough, you know. Uh, well, as overcast at the minute, but I think it's going to get out again. Got like a lower mist on the hills. The midges are out, but uh, we get packed away and get away. Steve's just packing up there. I'm right to roll. There's my sticks there, my bag on. The midges. I mean, well, you know, I don't mean too bad. They could have been a lot worse. They've been bad there packing away, but that's just because we're packing away. We might just attract them more, I suppose. But that noise, I don't know if you can really hear it on the camera, but I thought that road was a lot further away than what it was, and I thought that noise travels well, like, but I didn't realise the road's just there, just just beyond the trees there, and the edge of the water. It's a noisy road, like. Quiet through the night, but it's noisy till late, till late or at night, and then early in the morning it starts again. It's like the main road up the side of Scotland, you know, so obviously very busy. Not the nicest of places, mind the litter that's been left and the destruction, but that's what happens. Like, we haven't left anything, like, not a thing, took everything away. Aye, it's not, it wasn't the top of the lock, top of the lock's up there, but never mind, it wasn't far away. So just heading down to a bothy now, and now what's called derelict buildings next to it. We'll not be popping in late because I think there'll be people slumbering or having their breakfast, so we'll just bypass. There's not much to see in the menu there. Basically, just derelict buildings with sleeping platforms in and a fireplace. And there's a little town over there which must be in Veroran, probably. The track's not so bad here, and from where we left, a bit better. The track yesterday was, wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I, it's a hard day pushing it all, and one day plus, and a few miles on top of that. And that's, uh, but I think you got to make your mind up whether you want to get it out and done with in one go, or split it into two. Cross loads of these little places along here. It's, there must be like industry here, or farmer or something years ago. They're all run down now, like. And it's looking back to the lock. And this is the end of the lock. Definitely. <laughs> Almost certainly. The first time we've went through high bracken on the whole walk, and as you can see, I'm pretty, pretty wet, like. I hope the What's it called? Is it, um, the ticks haven't jumped off on us. Oh, panic with ticks, eh? It's close, humid, and I think the sun's going to get up later on and make it into a scorcher. But, no complaint. We've only had five minutes rain on the whole trip. We stopped on the first day, put our waterproofs on, and uh, I said to Steve, I said, we're going to get these on, you know. And my rain covers on my packs, and by the time we step up under this tree, I bet it stops. And right, sure enough, it stopped. So it wasn't long before we're stripping off again, which is good for Scotland. You know, not getting wet. We're rain. Wet with sweat, like. Or knackered with sweat. This looks a bit rickety here, like. This doesn't look the best of air. Unless you just walk over it, like. Walk around it. Doesn't look the safest of styles, does it? I think it's just there from a bygone era and you just step through the gap there. There's looking back at that wreck. Tree growing, so shows you how long that's been a ruin. Saying goodbye to Loch Lomond. <laughs> what a big lock it is. <laughs> oh, and there's over your head. Open countryside. Good views later on. Oh. That's a relief, that like, to be honest. It was alright, I enjoyed it. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't as bad as I expected, like I said. But, 
might try and find somewhere for something decent to eat today. Get some calories inside. I'm coming into that camp and management zone here, so I'm not sure how long this. I didn't. I didn't wasn't aware of this one to be honest. But obviously, when you're heading back towards Loch Lomond, it becomes um, you know leaving the management zone. So beyond here, you're okay till you get the road dead in. Um, but this bit here, you can't. Oh, look at that tree there. It's like, it's like the favourite tree of a bracket mushrooms. I don't know what to call them mushrooms. Toad stools. Horses hoofs or something. That's what they look like. So this is bind last form. Camping, cabins, B and B, bar and restaurant. This is your first bit of civilization since um Road Denner. Lounge bar restaurant, delicious food, open all day. Uh, Steve just coming across the bridge. <laughs> Putting a brave face on. <laughs> Need more Loch Lomond? Yahoo! <laughs> We're on what we are. From misery to happiness, Teddy. Ah, 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 ah. We're on my way from Rock Lomond, <laughs> Bankside, Teddy. Ah, 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 ah. We're on my way and we're not coming back on it anymore. Ah, <laughs> right, here we are at the Fars of Doom and Gloom. Just been a bean glass form and lovely there, like nice little place for a pit stop. Would have been a marvellous place last night for a camp, but uh, it was, we thought it was six mile today, it was more like seven or eight. So we wouldn't have made it like, it would have been nine, ten o'clock before we got there. But you know, that's always an option like for people to do it on different itineraries. And the uh, sun's coming out and the, the walking's a lot easier now, mind. This is like, as you can see, it's, it's just normal walking, a normal track. You know, just not, not Loch Lomond style. I'll stop talking about Loch Lomond like it's, I shouldn't give it such a bad press, it was nice. I enjoyed it in a, in a strange way. It was, it was interesting. It was a type of walk I've never really done before. <laughs> miles and miles of rough path that you couldn't escape. So you either had to keep on going or turn around and go back. But as you can see, this is a lovely trail you have through the trees. Uh, we're still close to the main road, that's probably a, a negative point as well. Like a, You get a lot of road noise. I don't know how long that's going to last for, but Hopefully not for the rest of the walk. It's a busy road. It's through them trees across the river. Aye, the further, further north you get, the more grand the scenery becomes. I'm sorry I can't near many of the hills. I haven't a clue what they are. You can see, I'm not sure if I could be the cobbler through there. Like, I'm just taking a guess at that one. And there's a nice one through there, through that uh, valley. Our Glen is caught up here. And this, the clouds are just starting to come across the top of them and very atmospheric, lovely. I uh, really perking up now the trail. Beautiful. It makes you know. Yeah. Anything that spoils it really is the the power lines, but they've got a lot of hydroelectric up here so you've got to understand it. If you want the electricity, you have to put up the pylons, sort of. <clears throat> really nice. That, that looks so inviting, you just want to go there and camp on top of it. You know, just coming up the mist there. I want to head up here with the, with the tent and get some high level stuff done. Hopefully, someday. And looking back there to that one again. Look at that. That's really nice, that like. That's that's just seeing you going wild camp on us. This is my first sort of meadow. If you like it, the first yeah. A little a little bit on the first day, but aye. <laughs> it's strange how many miles of walk and this is the first meadow we've come to. The second one, sorry. Oh hey. Right. 
Aye, nice, lovely, lovely views. And there's a coolant breeze come through this meadow, so that's welcome as well. Been very wind free. The weather, very hot, very wind free. We're kind of complain to be honest. Midges have been oh, on a one to ten scale. I would say they've been a three. They've been tolerable. Maybe until this morning were a bit if he would if he got packed up quick and got the way of them, it wasn't too bad. Little bridges with rotten planks and that. I noticed a lot of the bridges now are a bit could do with replacing like. It's a little bit dangerous now, like. Yeah, well, come up the bridge, we've got a duck right down. Everybody films this bit, so just keeping up with tradition, you know. <laughs> oh god, the sizzle as well. Ah, we're gonna hit it. Well, I'm hitting, I'm hitting. Hold on, I wonder. Oslo. <laughs> Dumbarton boys. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> what a way to spell boys. Is that some kind of quote? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Steve's going to come through. You know, the only guns. <laughs> Limbo! <laughs> How are you getting through these on me? <laughs> God. Now you've made it, mate. You've made it. It's a cool view on this. Is it? I should have like a little bench in here to sit on. Oh, the coolness is wonderful. <laughs> Glen Follicky and Sloy project information. Aye, right. electricity, hydro, dildo. I must admit, I'm tempted. <laughs> mm. Just having a rest in the woods. A bit of a, a, bit of a fuel up there. I've proven stop. And we're just looking at the map. It's hot and we're. We're struggling like we're drinking loads of water and we're still dehydrated like I've just stuck myself with a couple of cereal bars, two hybrid provens. And I didn't want to put this bag back on to be honest, but we've got the <laughs> Just cutting through the coolness of the woods now, like nice in here. Nice to be out the sun. I've been a sun all day well since about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Oh, been relentless. Uh, drinking loads of water, but we're still dehydrated. Like, but we're not plodding on. Like, I think we're going to extend it by a day. We've been looking at what we've got left and how short we are. And today's mileage and yesterday's mileage. We're like two miles short yesterday. And we're, we're going to be six miles short a day. So I think eight miles. And that will leave her with like 23 mile for the last year. I don't think that's going to happen, like, because we don't know what this heat's going to be like. We're just going to plod on, see what happens. It's too late now to turn back and get, give in, like, when I get the end. Even if we've got to land an extra dawn, and we're going to do it in six days. Hopefully, the last day will be a short day anyway. Not so bad. We've got a campsite booked for wedding. Is it Wednesday night? No, sorry, Thursday night. And we're not going to get there, so we've lost that book. Let's see what happens. Unless we have like a big recovery night tonight and get up early tomorrow and go for it. But I don't think we're going to do that. Like, that's not going to happen. We're struggling now, we're going to be struggling even more tomorrow. It is where it is. It's the Black Bull of Doom. That gives a hurry in, Larry. But look at this view here, man. 
I was walking up this lane, right? Walking up the lane, not realising this view was to me right. I mean, I don't know how to pick it well on the camera, but it is fantastic. Like, I haven't a clue what the hills are, but they're like good days or weekends exploring. Definitely. So, we're heading through here now to the campsite. We're going to the campsite, and Steve's feeling a bit better now. We're going to crack on the motor, see how far we can get the motor, see if we can get ourselves back on plan. It's a big ask, like, because it's hot, but we're going to give it a go. See, see what happens. Just call it in the campsite with a mile back. Uh, but to me, it looks as though it had loads of room. Went in quiet. You got room with two small tents. No, I'm sorry, I had to carry on to Tindrum. So I'm carrying on to Tindrum. <laughs> but let's get more close at the end anyway. So, and the shops in, pubs in. Maybe it's a chip shop, I don't know. We've got a mean he's there anyway. Let's just throw up. We'll get on the campsite there because we can't. We're going to push on to a final wild camping spot. I certainly don't want to do that tonight. Do a shower. The lock of the legend of the lost sword. And this here is the lock of the lost sword. Let's read about this. Eh? Here's a bit of a history lesson. The legend. After he was beaten at Dalry, Robert the Bruce and his army threw their weapons into this small locking. This included Robert Bruce's long sword, Clearmore, and local legend suggests it lies here to this day. So, if you've got a bit of spare time in your hands and a snorkel, have a look at me for Robert the Bruce's long sword. Or was it the, sorry, the lost sword. It was a long sword as well, like so. There you go. Keep getting to for hours. Not to. Not to. He had a kind of big. No, I'm not going to. Kind of had a kind of big sword on him, didn't he? <laughs> oh, it's getting late. <laughs> See, this place here seems very popular. Signs for it everywhere. Tindrum massage. Call or text Pat. Now. Is Pat Patrick or is Pat Patricia? And before you see it, no, I'm not going to phone up and ask. Anyway, we're nearly there, we're nearly in Tindrum. We'll find out if we can't get out of this campsite. Uh, well, at the end of a tether now, like, Steve's back there. Steve's doing well, mine. He's never mourned once, you know, never complained. I had a bit of a moan on the first day, like, until I got myself and me. Got my head running it like. Eh. <laughs> uh, aye. Fierce of fatigue, eh? At least, oh, I hope we're getting this campsite like. I don't want it to try and find somewhere to wild camp. I can't be bored. I've had enough. <laughs> Unless I come across a nice little spot through these woods. Um, mm, I was gone there and come back. Well. That's the end of day three. We've got 17 mile on the clock. We've got about mm, 40 left to go, I think. Maybe more, I'm not sure. We're going to give it a good crack tomorrow. Be up early in a way. So, I'll catch you in the morning.